In case you missed it, Atlassian recently introduced Atlassian Intelligence, and it is now generally available for everybody to use if you're a Jira or Confluence user. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through a simple use case of how you can use the Atlassian Intelligence in your descriptions of your Jira tickets. Before we jump into the demo, I want to remind you that I have a course linked down below. Please check it out if you want to take your Jira skills to the next level. I'm going to be releasing a couple more courses very, very soon. So definitely check it out as you're going to want to use those coupon codes. All right, let's jump into Jira and let's take a look at how this new Atlassian intelligence can make us better at using Jira. So here I am inside of the wonderful world of Jira, and I'm going to give you a very, very easy example. I'm simply going to create a brand new ticket and I'm going to call it make video for YouTube. And this is not where the Atlassian intelligence shines, but pay special attention to what I'm about to do next. So after I've given my summary, I'm going to go to my description. And if you have the Atlassian intelligence enabled, this is something that you actually have to go and enable yourself or your Jira administrator needs to go enable for you. But once it's enabled, you're going to get this special little icon on the right side of your descriptions. So if I click on this, this now gives me the ability to interact and utilize the Atlassian assistant. Now we're going to come back and talk about these in just a minute, but first I want to show you what it can do when you simply interact or just simply talk to Atlassian the way you would with ChatGPT. So keep in mind that this is driven by ChatGPT like powers. So it's going to look and feel a lot like ChatGPT if you've been using it for the last few months that it's been out. So now that I have this, title of make a video for YouTube. I want a checklist. I don't know what I'm doing yet. And so I'm going to say, write me a checklist for everything I need in order to create a video for YouTube. And I'm going to click enter and watch what happens. The AI or Atlassian intelligence is going to go out and create me a checklist. As you can see here, here is a 10 step checklist. And all I need to do next is click on insert. And that checklist is now part of my description. And so sometimes one of the biggest challenges is figuring out or getting that inspiration or getting beyond that writer's block when you're trying to come up with a description. And so this can at least serve as a starting point if you just are Bring it in a blank. Sometimes I stare at these tickets and I'm like, what do I do? I need to put something of value in here, but I just don't know where to start. I don't know where the beginning of the thread is. And using intelligence like this, you can definitely at least get the creative juices going because now from here I can tweak it. I can modify it. I can do changes, but at least I am now going in some direction as opposed to just spinning my wheels with no traction, trying to figure out, Hmm, what helpful thing can I put in the description? Now, before we go into another example, I want to remind you that my courses are available and I also have a merch store. So if you're interested, I got the Jira life official merch store coupon codes down below in the description and coupon codes available for my course as well. So make sure you use those links as those courses that I have available for you on Udemy are designed to take your skills to the next level. They're in-depth courses, hands-on, and you're going to be learning a lot. And so if you want an affordable yet effective way of taking your skills to the next level, highly recommend you check out those links down below. All right, so let's jump into a different way of being able to use the Atlassian intelligence because sometimes we don't need it to create prompts for us. We don't need it to write things for us, but if you're in like an engineering field or some sort of a technical field, then you know that English isn't our strongest suit, right? We're not the best communicators, especially when it comes to English and tone is a very hard thing to convey when you're writing. And so sometimes you can write something that doesn't portray itself as elegant or as professional as you would think. And sometimes you write something that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it makes sense to you. But to another third party observer, it could be misinterpreted. So I'm going to show you some clever ways to have Atlassian intelligence help you be a better teammate. So let's take a look at this. So I'm just going to delete everything here and I'm going to write something, right? I'm going to write, uh, this is for a video that needs to be published immediately. Please, uh, exercise extreme caution as this is a super 
high and critical priority item. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll address them ASAP. Now, I'm intentionally writing this in a very aggressive type of tone because I want to show you what at last an intelligence can do for me next. So as you can see, if you read this, there's a lot of urgency. There's a lot of, you know, just get it done. Very, very authoritative. And usually teams <laughs> don't respond well to that, right? This is a little too aggressive in my opinion. And so let's see if at last an intelligence can help us make this sound a little bit better. So I'm gonna click on the Atlassian Intelligence icon again, and this time, rather than typing in a prompt, I'm gonna come down here to change the tone to professional. And so I'm gonna click on this, and it's going to go and fix it for me. So rather than that you know, over aggressive message that I wrote, this is what it recommends. And it says, this is for a video that needs to be published promptly. Please exercise utmost caution as this is a super high and critical priority item. Let me know if you have any inquiries. I will address them as soon as possible. As you can see, this is a little bit more of a professional thing. It basically says exactly what I said, but hopefully this is not going to you know, raise attention in a negative way. So all I need to do is click on the replace button and it's going to replace the text that I wrote originally and make it better. Now that's not all. You can do a couple of other things that you kind of saw. You can click on this last in intelligence icon here and we can summarize your writing. So maybe you just have a giant description where you can make it a summarized version of it, right? So if you have a giant file or a giant requirements document, maybe you can take that big giant requirements document and at last in intelligence can give you a summary of it. Maybe you wrote something and you just want it to sound better. You want it to sound more concise, more to the point, more improved, and you can just have it improved. Maybe you're like me and you just are horrible at spelling and grammar. Well, guess what? This can help you fix it as well. You can make it more concise. You can brainstorm as well. You can come up with some ideas, kind of like what I did earlier when I prompted a, give me a checklist because I just don't know what to do or where to start. And so that brainstorm is gonna help you out there. And then of course you can change the tones to professional, empathetic, casual, neutral, or educational. And so that's kind of that feature just within the description. Now make sure you like and subscribe to this video because we are going to be covering other additional ways to use the new Atlassian intelligence within the Atlassian ecosystem. So this is not just in Jira and this is not just in the description, but there's other functionality. So make sure you smash the subscribe button and make sure you smash that like video and share this video with all your coworkers and peers because these videos are gonna be awesome and you don't wanna miss out. And before we close out, I just wanna give you a friendly reminder that those links down below, if you're thinking, how can I help this channel? It's such an awesome channel. I'm getting so much value out of it there's a link tree down below definitely click on that link tree link as it's going to take you to all the different ways that you can help support the channel i have memberships for the channel i have merch store i got the official jira life t-shirt here if you're interested in the jira life i also have many many other shirts and of course i have paid courses i have one right now many more coming i'm publishing 12 in just 2024 so definitely check out those links down below as you're going to want to utilize those coupon codes to get some discounts as a thank you of being a supporter of the channel that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed make sure you smash that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one